Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's me Irfan from, from How to TV and today we are going to learn together what are track changes in Microsoft Word and how to turn on mic track changes and how to turn off track changes in Microsoft Word. Uh, we also going to learn together about how to accept and reject track changes or comment in Microsoft Word. So what is uh, what are track changes track changes uh, is a feature in microsoft word that allows you uh, to give you and your co-worker uh, a way to make changes that are easy to spot so the changes are like suggestion that you can review and then remove them or make them permanent in your document so this feature is commonly used between an editor and a writer or between a writer editor and proofreader for me example, uh, my, I usually work as a translation editor from English into Indonesia, a translation editor, and I usually uh, make edit to the translation from English to Indonesian, and I usually turn on track changes with hope that the translator will spot uh, their revision, uh, the revision that I have made to his uh, original translation. Also, track changes is commonly used uh, between a university lecturer and his uh, students. So, this is commonly used when a student uh, composing or writing a university thesis or final project or uh, dissertation uh, where they submit a draft, a university thesis, to their supervisor without that the supervisor will ed make edit to the file microsoft file uh, instead of using a physical printing printed document so this feature is very very useful uh, to increase productivity uh, in news or media work or in education work so we so how to turn on and turn off uh, track changes in microsoft word so here i have a sample of an English to Indonesian translation that I have made edit to this document in 2014 if I'm not mistaken so in order to turn on track changes you go to the review tab here and you go to track changes to turn on track changes, you click here. Yeah, click. And uh, where when the color of this feature is already in yellow or orange like this, it means the track changes feature on your Microsoft Word document is uh, turned on. So it's time you make edit. To this text, track changes will record the changes uh, with hope that, that the translator will uh, spot uh, what are the changes made to his or her translation. So if I delete this, for example, you see that changes, uh, it will be recorded here. Deleted and G. Okay. So another example. If I make uh, an addition here, for example, ke bergerak ke arah something. So. The addition I made will be recorded here, like this. So the translator will notice that I have made changes in this particular part of the text. Okay, this is how we turn on track changes. In order to turn off track changes, we just click this. 
Okay. If the color in track changes button function here, function button here is not in yellow or orange, it means track changes is turned off. If they click this and the color become yellow or orange, it means turn on. We click this and it's clear white, it means turn off. When turn off, the any edit I made in this document will not be tracked or will not be recorded like this. There is no longer uh, addition or markup here. Okay, uh, another shortcut for turning on or turning off track changes is by pressing uh, Control Shift E. Once again, Control Shift E. It turn off. Control Shift E. It turn on track changes. Control Shift E turns off track changes. Control Shift E turn on track changes this is the shortcut for turning on or turning off track changes okay so now how do we show or hide comments in track changes another feature in track changes is we can make comments so instead of making edit to the available text uh, I can share question to the translator or if I am a lecturer I can share a question to my student uh, before I made edit so for example I want to make a comment in this part because I'm not sure I if I have to make edit to this part of the sentence or uh, it is optional to make edit in this part so what i have to do to make a comment is by uh, blocking certain part of the text you can see like one word or two words or whatever you want and you click new command like this and if you spot like this you can make uh, you can start typing your comment. Uh, for example, would you mind change this to uh, like this? Bahas is to discuss in Indonesian. We directly make edit to this part of the word. Uh, I would like my student or the translator to uh, discuss to uh, to change this to membahas, so he can make his own decision which one is better, whether to use mempelajari or to use membahas. Okay, this is how do we make comments in microsoft word so how to uh, delete a comment in microsoft word it's simple because you only need to go to the comment here like this and right click on the command and delete a command okay and it's deleted this right click delete comment so this is how we shall show or hide a comment so now the default setting for microsoft word when dealing with track changes is uh, they will show the markup or changes uh, like this this is the default setting of Microsoft Word when dealing with uh, track changes so all the edits whether it is deletion or insertion it will be put uh, in line with the text so 
uh, you may choose which one you are comfortable with. Uh, I do personally uh, enjoy showing the markup or changes or the edits in artificial in balloons. Uh, like this you have choice to show revision in balance so all revisions in line show only comments and formatting uh, i do personally uh, prefer this option show revisions in balloons okay so far we have studied together on how to turn on and turn off track changes how to make or delete a comment in microsoft word which is another feature in track changes uh, review pane review tab in microsoft word and now if an editor or a lecturer have already made their edits or markup in our document it's now back to us so it's time for us to review the track changes uh, so using the review reviewing pane you can quickly ensure that all track changes have been removed from your document the summary section at the top of the reviewing pane displays the exact number of track changes and comments that remain in your document the reviewing pane the reviewing pane uh, allows you to read long comments that don't fit within a comment bubble on the right side. Uh, also, the reviewing pane will show you a statistic of how many insertions have been made by the editors, how many deletions have been made by the editors or your university lecturer, and the formatting and how many comments within your uh, draft university thesis or news or translation so this is uh, this part shows you yeah sorry this is my kids <laughs> okay this part shows you the statistic of how many edits Mark up made by your editor, university lecturer, or your proofreader. And now it's time for you to review your document. Uh, it's time for you to accept or reject the changes mark up in your document. In order to do that, you can made it by one by one you read from the beginning of your document for example if your editor has made a changes here insertion uh, by writing cita cita here you can click on this oh, sorry click on the bubble yes that's the sound of my kids and you have the option to whether you accept this or reject this so you as a translator use aspiracy here and your editor uh, prefer using cita cita as a reviewer you have the option whether you will keep using aspiracy or you follow the editor in many cases editor will always be on the true uh, right side so translator you uh, have to follow the editor so you can accept deletion or insertion by right click on the bubble and accept deletion like this okay right click here 
or you have the option to reject the donation. So this is the original translation made by the translator. Okay, and now aspirasi. Okay, aspirasi is used with cita-cita. If you reject the markup by the editor, you have to uh, delete the insertion. You can use it like this. Okay, sorry. This is because my track changes is not turned on. So, anytime your editor or the university lecturer create changes, you have the option to accept or delete the insertion. Accept deletion, reject deletion. You can also reject format change or accept format change okay if you are okay with all the edits made by your editor you can simply use this option accept all changes in document or if you are totally disagree with your editor you have the option to reject all changes in document okay you have the option like this accept all changes in documents if you do that all the bubble here on the right side will be removed from your document like this Tara. and now we still have commands left in this document so now how to reject uh, accept uh, check changes click accept accept all like this accept after all changes and in order to delete command you have the option to like this and delete all comments in the document and now this is the final uh, draft of your document without any markup or comment without any track changes in it so now we have done with studying on what are track changes uh, how to turn on and turn off track changes how to accept or reject track changes in Microsoft Word. Uh, I hope that this will be beneficial for you to increase the productivity in your office, in your company. And if you find this video useful, beneficial, please do not forget to give like and please do not forget to click subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, this is from Irfan. Wabarakatuh. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.